Uh, congratulations on the victory. If you can give us a summary of the announcement. Uh, thanks, Shubh. Uh, but first and foremost, congratulations to the team. Congratulations to to everybody involved, the coaches, um, the backroom staff, uh, our analysts, and uh, the entire technical team, the club, uh, for for progressing into into the next round. Uh, again, also my commiserations to the opposition. Matai Tai were a worthy opposition, particularly considering where they come from and and uh, the league that they they participate in. So. So yeah, congratulations uh, to to our team. It was not a, a fluid performance in in relation to into our schemes, uh, but that's only normal when you you've changed the lineup so much and you've rotated. Uh, that's the price you 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 pay because you lose cohesive superiority. But what you do gain is, of course, because we have that qualitative superiority we, we are able to make up for it and and you could see that even in some of the goals that we scored um the attitude of the players was very good uh, the application the energy was very good uh, and 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 yeah the players did the best that they could under very difficult circumstances it's uh, it's not easy to play against an opponent that you don't know too much about because uh, they play in a, in a lower league, but but uh, our our preparation, our 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 diligence in making sure that we, we we have the information for the players and we show how serious we are about this game also allowed us to try to to get them into the right frame of mind. And uh, as I say, also particularly because you've also got a, another game on the weekend. You you. you to get the, the focus from the players is not always the, the, that easy, but yeah, they did very well and uh, huge compliments to, to to our squad and our players for for a good a good result that helps us to be in the next round. Mm -hmm. uh, please go ahead with the question. Samba. Samba Shavala. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Uh, compliments, coach. Compliments. Um, did I say con congratulations? Rather, coach. Uh, my my question is on two folds, if I may be allowed to. One, you are used to this space where you're playing against young players, even in your other life as a coach. You know, like us. Um, mm. the, the standard of ABC Multiple League uh, compared to the PSL standard. How far are these players? And looking at that team without preempting anything, are there any players that you think would they fit the criteria of the players that can easily make it into any team uh, without even mentioning names in the PSL? Number two, if I may throw forward through through you, of course, uh, Shubs. Right now, currently, I'm monitoring a game between Al Ali and Pyramids. How much of that are you looking into as this match is currently happening in Egypt? Yeah, thanks, Titi. I actually jokingly I said to the players that if they struggle against my Tai Tai uh, in the next round, and and uh, hopefully we get we get probably. Uh, one of the other lower league teams. If if we struggle against Matai Tai, then please allow allow us to to bring Black Poison to to play to play this game because because maybe we would have um, a, a better spectacle, you know. But but um, uh, look, it's very difficult. It's not easy. I mean, uh, these 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 uh, players have to play against. Uh, uh, professionals, you know, people who devote 150% of their time to playing football. They still have some players that are scholars. They still have some players that are, are working, and 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 and, uh, and it's very very difficult to to make that comparison. Uh, but I think with the, when you have a, a cup like this, like the NetBank Cup, that gives this uh, opportunity to 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 lesser league teams to play against. They are, they are heroes and uh, and uh, people that they watch on TV every single day. They admire. It's it's a it's a fantastic way to try to stimulate some form of uh, growth and, and, and development and 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 then give them the platform where 
not just against the Mamelodi Sundowns team that is you know, currently the best best team in the country and and unapologetically I can say that because of what these players have been doing for the last two years uh, but in in the same same breath they play against their idols and their role models and hopefully that has gone a long way uh, to give them the hope and and, and uh, the stimulation that they can get to this level you know but it's it's, it's not very easy for them if there are any players, look, I, it's very difficult today because uh, not a lot of them you could uh, you could uh, say stood up. But uh, when I watched the game uh, that they played in the previous round, and, and you see that there's there's players like uh, Koloi, for an example, who's got who's got very good physical profile, the speed, the dynamism. Uh, Rashford, uh, the number eleven, is 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 a very good player and shows very good promise. Uh, he's got a good eye for goal. His movements are very good. Uh, and then you also have Simunye uh, Mudise, the number ten, who who's very aggressive in, in his movements and getting into the box. Uh, Umbali Shabalala in goals is also one of the players that that looks like he's he's, he's a goal player and and one for for what you are looking for in relation to distribution and build up schemes and and trying to initiate the attack from the back. So it gives them a good personality, but uh, it's not always easy because against Bamelodi Sundowns and who are very prepared and have a lot of information, it's very difficult for them to 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 show their quality, but. Um, they did their best, and uh, and I think I think their coaching staff, their their club, their management could be very proud of the boys' efforts. You know, uh, are we keeping eyes on Alakli? Of course, we, we 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 do our work. We are diligent in in our responsibilities. We know they've got a very important game against uh, Pyramids tonight at uh, at eight o'clock, but. We will we will record that game. We'll watch it as soon as we get home. But first, fit things first is to try to recover the team, try to uh, rest tonight a little bit, come back it for training and recovery tomorrow. Uh, we try to also make some subs in relation to that. So so we are we are in a good space and uh, we are trying the best that we can to to manage the program. But it's a program that we enjoy and we love to be in the space we were playing every two days. So no complaints for us from us and uh, just just the continuity of, of a lot of hard work uh, knuckling down and, and pushing ourselves to 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 the extremes uh, the, the three hands that are up will be the last ones Tozamile followed by Maleka then Colin Juk uh, so Tozamile please go ahead sir hi coach hi Tozman well uh, congratulations coach on the win um, congratulations you too, sir. Thank you. The first four minutes, you're getting four goals, coach. And then the uh, next 40 minutes plus, how frustrating were they uh, to you guys as coaches? And what was the halftime talk? You know, because uh, the next 40 minutes, you know, I saw sometimes rushing, you know, and not doing the, the right things at times. And also, in the bigger scheme of things, uh, coach, um, the biggest game is coming against Al Ali. How much of a gain was this game for you? Because a couple of um, players got more minutes on, on their legs, and there were players that you know you also got to rest. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Tosman. Look, look, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not uh, easy to play these type of games, Tosman. It's, it's very, very difficult from a from a psychological perspective. You can't lie to the brain. The brain knows the the the, the scene. Uh, the brain knows that uh, it's a Sundowns versus um, uh, lesser, uh, lesser 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 profile team. And I choose the word profile because they come from a lower league and, and respectfully so even you know. Um, so to get to get the 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 concentration, the psychological and competitive uh, motivation is very very difficult. But that's what our players tried very hard to do so so then you also consider the fact that you know everybody's talking about the 24 nil that sundowns uh, had in the past and and at halftime we had to tell them and remind them that uh, to play to try to chase that record means absolutely nothing because uh, that team in itself that one 24 nil was a superb team 
it achieved its own great things and 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 set its own milestones but, and and does not deserve to be compared to any other of the sundowns teams in, in the present in the future or in the past and it is the same for this generation this generation is special in the sense that it's achieved its own special milestones and it's broken its own records and for doing those things it deserves its own recognition and uh, it does not deserve to be compared to any other team that uh, has played for Mamelodi Sundowns. And moreover, it doesn't help you to win 24-0 and not win the cup, you know. So it's one step at a time, try to get the team into, into the next round and, and focus only on that, focus on giving a very good performance, focus on building very good habits and focus on making sure that you put the team into the next round. And, and that was just the, the, the talk that we had at halftime to, to remind the players that as human beings, we are creatures of habit. And when and creatures of habit understand that what you repeatedly do, you become. So it is important that we play the game as if we are playing a final, semi-final of, of a cup competition or a Champions League or Club World Cup so that these become innate habits from, from our players. So. Yeah, it got a little bit better in the second half, but uh, but we are we were just very happy to to get the team into the next round, and we are happy with with uh, the way with that we went about the business today. We we apart from uh, a small anyana uh, growing complication from Mkulisi, we we finished the game without too many uh, or, or too many muscular complications or injuries. So we are happy to be able to tick that box. We're happy to tick the box that we've allowed and given some game time to some of these players that we know we are going to need for the long run, like Neo Kutumela was good to see him scoring. It was good to see Villa on the pitch, Divine Longa on the pitch, uh, Riyadh uh, in goals. And, um, and then, of course, uh, something that puts a smile on everybody's face because he's a boy that is loved in this club and is loved by many. Uh, it was great to see Lebu Mabue coming back from a long-term injury and, and not just coming back, but being able to 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 to, to provide an assist and a goal. And uh, uh, he deserves it because of his professional conduct and how he's carried himself throughout his rehabilitation process. And uh, this is this is a great example of what happens when you are steadfast and focused and dedicated to your profession. And uh, Lebu's story is just a story that is not just indicative of uh, the talent that he possesses, but the type of human being that he is. And uh, it was great to see him coming in and, and, and playing the way he played and contributing to, 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 to the win today. So, yeah, um, a lot of wins for us, not, not just the visible one that everybody sees, but a lot of invisible wins. And um, as I say, congratulations to, to, to this group for, for putting this team into the next round and for a good result that could put from, from a game that could have potentially been a banana peel. Go ahead. Good afternoon. No, good evening, brother, sorry. <laughs> No, sir. <laughs> That's not because at two ones. Um, uh, your reactions on Mamelodi Sundowns being ranked uh, second in, in Africa after the, 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 rings, the rings came out on Sunday, and also maybe on yourself personally missing the game against uh, Ali on on, uh, on on Saturday. You know how much of a blow is that for you personally? Okay, so the first question is uh, the rankings. Sundowns is ranked uh, second on some research. Um, I can't remember which one, and also so maybe it's to what do rankings mean, uh, being number one and number two after al Ahlman that ranking, and also the second one, just the blow or not being on the bench. Oh, on the rankings, look, congratulations to, to the club. I wasn't aware of that, so thanks for, for making us aware. I think, uh, of course, as we always say, the game belongs to the players, and as I was saying uh, earlier, this group continues to to drive this club into uncharted heights, and uh, it's great to see. But everything that we speak about even now is is not just a reflection of where this group has has made a huge contribution, of course. But obviously, even the past and, and and many of the former players, former coaches, the investment that the club has made over the years through the Motsipa family and uh, the hardworking management of this club, and that's just a reflection of 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 of, of that. Uh, it means a lot to the club because, of course, uh, these miniature achievements, milestones, uh, need to be celebrated. Um, 
not just because of the physiological uh, benefits that you get. I mean, when you achieve certain things, uh, having a building or an environment full of uh, people and athletes that are uh, full of endorphins, uh, feel these feel-good uh, hormones, uh, allows you to be in a very good space and, and, and try to project yourselves in a, into, a new, into a new level. So it's a reflection of uh, a lot of contributions and a lot of hard work from, from various departments into the club. And uh, congratulations to, to, to everybody that has played a part into where the club is at the moment, past and present. Uh, so, so that is that. What it means for me to not be part of the game, of course, uh, yeah, well, it is what it is. These things happen in football, unfortunately. Um, the game, the show must go on, and at Mamelodi Sundowns, no one is 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 more important than the team. What's important is the team to perform well, the team to win the game, and uh, if that has to happen with uh, with my absence, and so be it. I will I will be with the team in spirit, and uh, we will do the work that we have to do. It doesn't change everything. There's a lot of work that needs to happen behind the scenes. There's a lot of training sessions, and of course. Uh, the match is just a reflection on the preparation. So we will continue to work hard and, and prepare ourselves as best as we possibly can. And I will make my small and yana contributions towards that. And uh, you know, hopefully the boys can can um, can uh, run with the show with the support of the technical team and the rest of the coaches. Robin, please go ahead. Only one question, please. Yeah. Only well, uh, yeah. Okay. Coach, I talked about here. Um, <laughs> with the match, as we as we heard now, the, okay, I mean between uh, Alali and, and Pyramid, are you hopeful that because I'm looking at the log in the EG Premier League, it's number one, and number two. So that means the game, the intensity level is gonna be high. You know, I hopeful that it might take a toll on on Elah, You know, when they come in in, in South Africa, and also with the um, Mudau finally getting a Bafana Bafana call up. Um, no, no, please, my <laughs> No, Shubs, allow him, Shem, at least because the data is, is right. Today. Yeah, go ahead, Mr. Hamad. <laughs> Shem, Shubs. <laughs> That's all, Mudao. You know, you know it, it looked like they come face to face with Mbappe, with Bafana Bafana on the on 29. Do you think it can stop him? Well, he doesn't have to try to stop Mbappe. He has to try to play as best as he possibly can, make a contribution to the to the to the team. And um, uh, we we've always believed in the talents that uh, Mudao has had. Our work as coaches is to try to improve our players. And I think if you watch where our players are in in relation to when they arrived here, uh, and I'm sure you can see, and not just in Modao, I mean, so many of our players are continuously improving is because of the investment behind the scenes, the hours that we spend in, in, in trying to analyze their performance and trying to design training sessions that stimulate growth and improvement. And, uh, uh, but, but well deserved. I think if you look at all the players that have been called up into Bafana, you speak of River, uh, Lyle, uh, Modao, Rush, uh, uh, Tebza, these are players that, um, they have the, 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 the talent and, and, and deservedly through the performances, they merit their place in, in, in the national team. So, uh, we are proud of them. We, 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 we are happy that they get the opportunities to play at that level and, and hopefully we, in the greater scheme of things, we we get to benefit as as Mamelodi Sundowns. But but yeah, um, yeah, he doesn't have to stop anybody. He's just got to do the best that he can, and, and we don't put pressure on him. We uh, we just very excited to be able to see him on that type of stage. And uh, those two games against uh, uh, Belgium also, where he'll be playing against uh, Hazard, Kevin De Bruyne, and and France, and hopefully there's Pogba, Varati. Mbappe, and, and this is a, an accumulation of experience that will go a long way uh, to make them better, better um, uh, football players, and also to to enrich their careers. So, so we are very proud, and, and hopefully they do very well, and they represent us with a plump. Mm 